We love our holidays. So Valentine's Day is over, and we're thinking about the next big one. St. Patrick's Day. Day yes. Hearts will be making way for shamrocks on the store shelves. You know, we switch them over the next day, right? We gotta keep moving. And one pop up bar in town is getting ready to uh, get the party going. That is where we find Selena Pompieri today at the new Shamrock Bar in Market Square. Hey, Selena, you look like you're having fun. Top of the morning to you, David and Heather. I am having a blast. We are live at Market Square. We're in the Oyster House where you will find the Irish themed pop up bar, Shamrock. They actually got the party started on Wednesday night and they had a very successful opening night. So they are ready to have a really successful St. Patrick's Day season. I want to introduce you both to the owner of the Oyster House. We have Jen Grippo and then we also have Mike McCoy with us. He is one of the partners at Shamrock. Thank you guys so much for joining us on PTL. Talk about opening night on Wednesday. It looked like a blast. You had live music, amazing cocktails, of course. Of course. We had so much fun here on Wednesday. We had Weekend at Blarney's. They were here to perform from 6 to 9. And we just had a lot of fun, music, laughter, and just enjoyed so many fun cocktails. So, wonderful. And I think having a live band is truly an incredible feature here. So what other bands will you have every Wednesday and Thursday? You'll feature a new group. Yes. So in addition to Weekend of Blarney's, we also have uh, Corned Beef and Curry and the Low Kings, as well as a couple other bands. But those are the, those are the main bands that will be here at least once or twice. I love it. So we got great music. We have delicious cocktails. We have a few over here. Walk us through some of sure. these. I got started earlier, guys. I had a Guinness. I do love a good Guinness. It was good. Mm -hmm. Now, what do we have over here? So all of our cocktails are named after songs by the Irish band, The Pogues. Uh, so this right here is an inspiration that we took from our trip to New Orleans. This is called um, A Fairy Tale of New Orleans. It's a, a frozen Irish coffee. Uh, this this one, particular one has what we call a peppermint patty topper, which is creme de menthe and creme de cocoa. And then we also have a pair of brown ryes, uh, which is a an old-fashioned, basically, bourbon and rye whiskey. Mm, very nice. So you opened up on Wednesday night. What are your hours, and how many days will you be open up until St. Patrick's so Day? we open every Wednesday through Saturday uh, from 4 p.m. to at least midnight. Beautiful. So St. Patrick's Day is our last day. That's actually a Sunday, so we'll, we'll open on Sunday that, that awesome. week. Awesome. Jen and Mike, thank you so much. Before we go, because David and Heather, we teased earlier that I was going to kiss the Blarney Stone, and I will be gifted with the gift of gab, although I think I already have the gift of gab. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. I want to give it a big smooch. Are you guys ready? Well there, done. I did it. I loved it. So come on down. You got to <laughs> You guys need to kiss the Blarney Stone as well. This is a really cute bar inside. It is decorated. I mean, it's we're just in the mood for St. Patrick's Day. Valentine's Aww. Day is in the past and we are ready for our green. So like Mike mentioned, they are open Wednesday through Sunday through Saturday. They have hours 4 until at least midnight. So check it out. They have great live bands featured every Wednesday night and Thursday night. So hopefully we'll see you guys soon down here and David and Heather you got to kiss this next. I think we have the gift of gab too. Yes. <laughs> we probably don't need any more gabbing going on. I bet that place is going to be bumping after the St. Patrick's Day parade and, you are and right. all season long. Okay.